Let's talk about how not so perfect I am. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I am a self-published author and my debut novel, The Elysian Prophecy, came out February 2018. Tep was the first novel I wrote to completion, editing and all, and I learned a lot along the way, but since publishing that novel and working on and finishing a novella and making it halfway through Tep 2, I've learned even more, and I discovered I made some mistakes. So I announced a few months ago that I was thinking about doing a video like this, and I got an overwhelming number of you comment and message me that you wanted me to do it, so... Here I am. I was hesitant to do it because nobody really talks about their book in a bad way. It's kind of bad marketing, but I wanted everybody to know that you're not alone, that everybody thinks that something's wrong with their debut novel. As much as you work on it, every author finds something wrong with it. So this happens to everyone. Everyone, when your debut novel comes out, you're super excited and you're thrilled that you're finally a published author. You can tell people you're a published author, but then you panic when somebody tells you that they're reading your book. You have a moment of panic because usually deep down, you're thinking about the things that you didn't get to fix, that list, or that you might have run out of time for, or that maybe you just got tired of editing and editing the same story and you just moved on. You always think of those things. Worth mentioning as well, since it isn't an actual mistake that I'm listing today, I fall prey to some of the things that I talk about in my own videos. I may use too many adverbs or info dump or let too many filter words through the first draft. Writing is an art and it requires a mix of structure and rules and creativity. So while I take the time to make these videos and teach you things I've learned along the way, I'm not perfect and I don't want you to think that I'm perfect. I make the same mistakes that you guys make. So before we jump in, let me stress that I'm still very, very proud of my little book baby. There's so many things that I think I nailed and I think that I did really well. And I absolutely think that I wrote a solid book. I love my cover. I love how dark some of the scenes got. I love the paperback formatting that I did, the characters. There's so much that I love about this book. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm not proud of it. I'm totally proud of it, but there are the tiny things that most people don't even know about or they wouldn't spot on their own, but that I know I didn't nail so well. So here are 10 things I wish I had taken the time to fix or I realized later I should have done differently. Number one, typos. To be honest, I had gotten so tired of my novel by the time it came close to release date that I didn't proof my final copy for random typos, post-professional proofread. You may have seen my video recounting all the things that went wrong when publishing my debut novel. There were a lot of things, but if you did not see that, my proofreader bailed on me last minute, and I mean last minute. So the typos I could have found after the proofreader did her thing stayed there since I was on such a tight schedule. So my novel got published with typos, which happens to every novel, every novel, traditional, self-published, anything, but it was more than I would have liked, and I need to edit them out. I'm going to. Number two, a tagline. This isn't to do with the actual story of the Elysian Prophecy, but I wish I had added a tagline to the front cover of the novel or even had a tagline to begin with. I don't have one at all. It's great for marketing purposes and it serves as kind of another hook for the reader. Sorry, I got distracted because I thought my audio wasn't recording. <laughs> but it serves as another hook to entice the reader to pick up your book. So they look at the cover and they see the tagline and it's those little sayings or kind of a cluster of words that sum up your entire story. I just didn't have one and I wish that I had. Number three, my twist isn't really so twisty. It's not really that surprising. I mean, throw the book down and yell what the F kind of surprising. When I was writing it, I definitely thought that I wrote a major plot twist and nobody was gonna be able to guess it at all. But even, I think everybody thinks that the first time they write, but even though my betas had told me that they ended up guessing it, I didn't change it or beef it up. I still got people telling me that they were totally surprised by it and that they weren't guessing that, but I could have taken the extra time to strengthen it and really knock it out of the park for those people who are good at guessing. Number four, my descriptions were a little lackluster. This is a huge, or it was a huge and consistent comment that I got from beta readers, and although I addressed it every time it came up, 
they, when they said that I needed more description, they weren't the best descriptions that I could have done. I talked about this in my Write a Novella in a Week videos, but I was too focused on the mechanics of writing and I didn't let myself get creative enough, basically. So in my novella, I allowed myself to be more creative and realized that I should have done the same thing with Tep. Tep. I said that weird. Number five, I wish I could have done more world building. There's a fine balance, I guess, between describing your world and info dumping your world. I think what I included was still really good, but I wish I had an extra, found some extra ways to dive deeper into the world of, of Elysia. Tep 2 definitely talks more about the world, but I think Tep could have benefited from it a little bit more. I wanted a magical, immersive setting, and while I think I still got that, it could have been even more immersing. Number six, there is a romance in my book that's I think is a little lacking. Writing romance isn't my strong suit, so basically I breezed over as much of it as I could. Don't get me wrong, there's still romantic elements throughout the book, but I wish I had pushed myself into developing that relationship more, stepping outside of my comfort zone, and perhaps giving the characters some more screen time to show that development. I just feel like I could have done better. Number seven, my wrap up is a little too fast. <laughs> I think by the time I got to the end, I saw too much light at the end of the tunnel and I wrapped things up pretty quickly. Um, it's hard to know how fast is too fast or what's the perfect pacing at the end, but I learned, at least for Tep, it was a little too fast. Like I said, I think I was too anxious to write the end. I was just too excited. Number eight, my marketing wasn't perfect. I think I revealed the cover too early. I think I didn't have enough time to promote just before my launch and after. I think my pre-order time frame was a little too long. I burned myself out with the release. So I basically didn't do anything release week like I had planned to do. I think my book would have been, it would have had an even better launch if I had been better at marketing in general. Lessons learned though. I learned a lot. Number nine, I already mentioned this in my editing video, frequently asked questions, sending out unproofed cops. Sending out unproofed cops. Unproofed cops. I don't even know if unproofed is a word, but I sent out eARCs, advanced reader copies that had not been proofread and told all of my ARC team just that. But I learned that some people don't read those disclaimers no matter how many times you say it, video, email, anything. I got several early bad reviews from people who received ARCs saying there were typos when I told them there would be. In the traditional publishing world, ARCs are frequently sent out prior to being proofread to help generate buzz early on. You can choose to do what you'd like, but I know from here on out, I'll be waiting until the book is proofread before I send out those copies. I don't want that to happen again. And last up, number 10, not getting my book into brick and mortar stores and libraries early on. I published through Ingram so I could have this option, but haven't really taken full advantage of it yet um, at all. <laughs> Once I fix those typos that I talked about earlier, I'll be submitting my book to Barnes & Noble like I had planned. That said, if you take the time to request that your library purchase my book, I would greatly appreciate it. Seriously, that would mean so much to me. And if you've seen my book in a library, I would love it if you tagged me, if you took a picture and you tagged me on Instagram and I'll share it on my stories. But yeah, pretty much with everything, me getting burned out so bad, I didn't submit my book to Barnes and Noble and I haven't promoted it and tried to get people to put it in their libraries or request it for their libraries as much as I would have liked. So lots of stuff to work on. All right. I hope that doesn't deter you from purchasing my book, but like I said, I wanted you to feel like you're not alone in being so judgmental of your own book, especially a debut novel. Since I self-published, I do have the freedom to change a lot of the things that I talked about, but I probably won't, save for those typos. You will always find things to improve, especially the further away from your novel you are. My novel is still great, and I'm so proud of it, even if it isn't my definition of perfect. I'm still proud of it. Comment down below if you realized some mistakes in your novel post-publishing. We all do it, and I think it'd be really reassuring for everybody else that reads the comments to know that they're not alone. Links to purchase The Elysian Prophecy are down below, as well as a link to my writing podcast, 
happy writing. I was going to say the happy writing podcast. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as it does help support my channel and subscribe and hit that little bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. If you like writing related videos and ones where I embarrass myself by telling people all about my book and what I did wrong, but still telling you, please buy my book. Yeah. All right. Until next time. Bye guys.